All right. And three, two, one. All right, guys. Welcome back to another trailer reaction. We have a game trailer coming to you today. We have Outbreak Island. Uh, don't know too much about this game. Kind of excited. Sounds like a zombie type game, so that's always fun. But uh, what do you think so far? Or what do you know yeah, so far I mean, in horror games, I'm 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 not always the best because I I'm not good in reaction times. Uh, especially if I'm looking at the images when you're prepping everything, it seems to be one of those uh, taking the camera pictures and just hiding to survive and hope for dear God you don't get killed. And I'm I'm not good at those games. I prefer watching people play when it comes to those type of games and actually doing it. But I'm I'm my curiosity is peaked. Sure. Yeah, it kind of reminds me a little bit just of what we saw from the, like you said, the little uh, uh, screenshots is uh, the Blair Witch Project that came out a few years ago. So yeah. we and, will and see. I wasn't good at that. I I, I yeah. know. We will see. But yeah, let's get right into this. Let's bring that up and uh, see what we got. All right. Oh, there we go. A couple of months ago, I could you. And I'm here to make things right. But first, it's time for dinner. What a mess. I hope there's finally something fresh on the menu tonight. Okay, so is this a bit of survival? Oh, here we go. So look at the bars. I'm just like much. running water. Oh, this is good. And here come the first customers. Oh, it's a shooter. Okay. Whoa. on the island. So, so they're blending shooters with survivalism because of, because of the, the, the standard bar and the food bar Just and like hard bar. normal person does. Huh. Yeah. I love the smell of the forest in the morning. I hope the graphics is just because they're not, it's not complete because there's some weird, weird effects when he moves over the water and everything. Nothing in the air yeah. in the fresh air. Living my best life. It still looks pretty darn good, though. It does, but I think, hearty you know, we're a day and age. It's not, Italy, it's, the selection you know. is not too diverse, but yeah. sometimes. I mean, it's not the best I've ever seen, but it's good. By the way, I cook breakfast for myself. Yes. I have to improvise, but it always turns out finger licking good. Afterwards, I drive to work. You have no idea how wonderful life is without traffic jams. There, I do my routine stuff. Try my best not to get into any trouble. Finally, I'm home. You know, this is the only place where I truly feel safe. Sometimes I overdo it a bit, and then I need a small repair on myself. My insurance has expired, but the service here is not the best either. The day is coming to an end, and my faith are heading out to grab dinner. And here we are, the next link in this crazy food chain. Who's next? Yeah, the aiming seems to be freaking fine. fine point. You seen the dot on that thing? Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely going to be an unforgiving I mean, game. Okay, it's not what I thought. Yeah. It's it, it's not what I thought in the sense, like, I saw the camera and everything. We didn't see the camera once, right? We saw the camera, yeah. and, and it's like, okay, it's one of those survival games. No, it's a shooter and a survival game, right, that you really have to pick up yourself. It looks interesting. My curiosity is peaked. Is it something that right. I, I need to try? Nah, not even close. Is it something right. that I'll probably check on Twitch to see if it's 
decent enough to, you know, wait for it to be on pay- PlayStation Plus or something? Yeah, probably. But is this is not this is not going on my top list at all. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of a couple games. There's a game called Stranded. <clears throat> I don't know if you mm-hmm. saw that one. Um, yeah. There's another game, uh, State of Decay, which is 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 is, is a decent uh, survival shooter game. Um, but it kind of looked and felt more like like Rust or like uh, something like that. Seven days to uh, seven days to live, or was it, is it called Seven Days? I, something like that. I, I think you know a bit better than me when it comes to survival games. Um, yeah, it's it's. It's a little clunkier gameplay. It's not as smooth. It didn't feel like it's going to be as smooth of a game. I might like it. It might not be finished, but one thing I really right. realized, the guy was aiming like an MF to just to get the head because the point is so small, right? Hopefully the, the, the zombies are not unforgiving because that's that's that seems hardcore. That really seems hardcore. I mean, again, is it an interesting concept? Like, it was about to happen, right? Putting a survival game with a zombie shooter. That being said, the shooter part doesn't seem as interesting, and that's what probably would I would be more interested in. Uh, the the survival part actually looks well fleshed out. So far, what I've seen in the gameplay of the shooter, yeah. it doesn't seem, you know, it just seems okay. So I don't know. We'll see. So my anticipation. Yeah, I, I, I think I agree with you. On a scale of one to ten, would be a two point five. I'd go a little higher. I'd say I'm in the mid, right in the middle. I'd say a five. I'd say I'm uh, right in the middle. I, I I would want to play it. I just don't know how long I would want to play it after. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know it's if this is a game that I would want to finish. Like I would have to finish. You know? Yeah, it's one of the, those games you play until you die a couple times, and you're like, ah, I have other games to play, and then you forget about it, type of thing. I, I, you know what? I hope yeah. for 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 the, uh, the the studio created this game. It's completely the contrary. It's the most addictive game you ever play in your life. Like that would be cool for them. But I mean, the, the oh, idea sure. on paper sounds good. I just don't think what I've seen on right now is is it's it's proving to to, to be a, a perfect combination. But on paper, really good idea. On application, not exciting. I will also say this: this is a game that I don't. It's hard to sell because this game looks big, so which means it's a lot of gigabytes. And if it's console, it's really hard to want to download a game like this when there's Jedi Survivor and you know all that kind of stuff coming out. So this is one of those games that I think if it's if it's maybe forty to fifty gigs and it's on uh, Game Pass or like you said, uh, you know PlayStation Plus, and it's you know comes with the subscription, I think maybe it works better there. But who knows? I, I, people love these zombie games, man. So I never doubt them. So and, and people love survival <laughs> games. So I mean, as well yeah. combine. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll we'll definitely see. It's something I'll definitely be checking on Twitch. Uh, sure. That's what I do with most of the games. I know I'll, I'll be completely horrible at, it, and I'm not going to give myself anxiety <laughs> attacks while playing these god, goddamn type of games. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so uh, what do you guys think? Are you a fan of what you saw? Are you a fan of zombie games or survival games? Are you the same opinion as us, or are we completely dead wrong? That being said, by the way, if you're watching and not subscribed, what you doing? Subscribe right now. Also, if you're subscribed but you haven't liked this video, hey, like this video, press on the notifications. And by the way, before we go, we have uh, something that you know we know you're gonna love. It's called Titans of the Turf. Uh, basically, it's fantasy football like you've never seen it before. We have six teams that drafted their own teams. We're talking about Mortal Kombat. We're talking about DC, Marvel. Hell, I have the Kool-Aid man on my team, okay? And it is fantasy football meets D&D role-style uh, uh, role gameplay. And we have actual matches, actual rankings, and eventually an actual champion. So do not miss a thing. It is Mondays. Three matches drop on Mondays, all right? So be there and have fun. Till next time, Mr. Don. Absolutely, guys. Please, yes, please look, check out Titans of the Turf. We are so excited to bring this to you guys. Our first week was so amazing. We had some really great nail-biting matches, so please check those out. But yeah, guys, from uh, Multiverse of Geekdom, I am Jedi Master Tuck. I have the owner of Saturians, Mr. Frenchie, over there with me. There we go. <laughs> All right, bye.
something like yeah, that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but guys, we will see you guys next time in the multiverse. Have a great day. Bye-bye.